a student at the University of Toronto, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a fun experiment with a delicious snack, apples. We're going to discover how apple slices react when coated with different liquids, like water and lemon juice. These are the materials you will need for this experiment. Pour each liquid into a different cup and leave one empty. The empty cup will be your control so that you can see the difference between a normal apple and one that has been soaked. Write the name of the liquid on a label and put it near its respective cup. Place one apple slice in each cup. Make sure the liquid is covering most of the apple. After three minutes, remove the apple from the liquid and place them on a platter. Record observations using a chart. Check the apples again after 10 minutes three more times. After the complete 30 minutes have passed, record your final observations. Feel free to try this experiment again with additional liquids. Fruit turns brown when exposed to air because a reaction that happens when cut fruit reacts with oxygen. This is called enzymatic browning, and this is because an enzyme in the fruit reacts with oxygen in the air to turn the fruit brown. An enzyme is a biological agent that's produced by different fruits that can help speed up the rate of a reaction. The chemical reaction can be simplified as polyphenol oxidase and atmospheric oxygen produces melanin, which is the brown pigment that turns fruit brown. Polyphenol oxidase is the enzyme found in fruit and is activated by oxygen when exposed to air, and this turns the fruit brown. In our experiment, the control was not treated with any liquid, so the reaction was able to proceed as normal and the fruit turned brown. The apple slice dipped in water had some browning, but not as much as the control. This is because the water restricted the amount of oxygen that was able to react with the fruit, and with less oxygen, less polyphenol oxidase is activated to produce the brown melanin pigment. Finally, the apple slice dipped in lemon juice did not turn brown because the polyphenol oxidase enzyme was inactivated. pH is a measure of acidity, and the lower the pH, the more acidic a substance is. With lemon juice, its pH is about 2 to 2.5, making it pretty acidic. The acid in the lemon juice will then inactivate the polyphenol oxidase enzyme to prevent browning. This is pretty important information for the food industry because they want their fruit to look as desirable as possible for consumers. There are many ways in which the food industry will prevent browning, and a popular one is by using heat to destroy the polyphenol oxidase enzyme and prevent browning. Thank you everyone for watching. Make sure to try this experiment at home and tag Pueblo Science in your experimental results. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok for more content. And comment down below what you would like us to cover next.